Welcome to DonaldWa.com. We're here at Winternam 2020 at the Ashdown Engineering booth. And Mark's going to tell us exactly what's going on. It's great to see you again, man. And uh, thanks for coming by and playing yesterday. It was really musical. Uh, all our followers on Facebook that were seeing you were just going, man, it's lovely to hear someone playing bass. And you were playing on our new jazz bass, I think, yesterday. Great. So we've had fun. Um, from the state of amplifiers, we've launched some more li lightweight 800 watt and a 300 watt version of our Rootmaster, which the Rootmaster 500 is our best-selling amp, and uh, giving a bit more power or a little bit less price on two options is great. Our original head, which is absolutely amazing, but again, only 300 watts, a few people wanting more power. That's just not many features, it just sounds good. If you want pure cleanliness and a very, very nice uh, clear sound on everything you're doing, and especially on a six string, that's your baby. Most of our other products, it's all about tone. You know, it's not absolute clarity it's, it's just that nice warmth that nice round is kind of what we're famous for we're trying to replicate our abm sound with a little tube on the front end and that sound that's made us famous for all the big players in the world that, that want, want warmth like michael rhodes right now today he's uh, using one of our new products the ctm 30 stubby all tube 30 head he's in abbey road with bonamassa recording with one of my 112s this little valve head man it, it the tone well, Michael Rose is a special guy anyway, so happy days. He's, he and you have got some nice similarities in uh, feel and the rest of it. So we've, we've got a great show, our lightweight combos, the studio line, which I can lift with one finger, 300 watts, neodymium 15, horn, and you can gig with it beautifully because it is 300 watts, but you can carry it with one finger. But the best, best thing we've had here is we've uh, got involved with Dan Lakin. Now, Dan's, in his own admission, is not a businessman. But he's a great engineer. He's an absolute enthusiast about everything based. From the materials, the wood, to the oil, next to the nuts. Uh, mad. Mad as a hatter. Lovely man. I'm, it, he wouldn't mind me saying that if he's here because he, he does know. But we're good at distribution, manufacturing, quality control, setup. So what we did is we got together in Chicago late, early this year. And we decided to launch a range of Ashdown bases, not, you know, by Dan Lakin. We've designed some of them ourselves and he's engineered them to be the level of quality that he wants. And we know that he's a perfectionist. So when we get a Korean made base that's got an oiled neck, hand oiled, that takes over an hour to finish, and a bone nut, a Wilkinson uh, bridge, um, and hip shots, and it's set up beautifully, and they feel beautiful, the finish is spectacular. We are ecstatic and shocked. Response here, man, we've had. Um, some very famous bass players actually buy basses and order them for the future for tours. So uh, we, we made Rudy Sarzo came by this morning again after yesterday because we made what we kind of, it's, it's a bit of a Thunderbird meets a, peep, uh, a jazz bass meets our own version with the humbucking pickers. He just said, you've just knocked it out of the park, Mark. That, that's a unique, 
special base and uh, he, he's going to be involved in any way he can to help us because uh, not many people do things that are original. So those bases have gone down a storm, uh, really excited about them. And you know when someone likes them, yeah, a guy's setting them up in England, because they come to England first, we set them up, gig bag them, re-box them, send them out. He just sat there noodling all day, paying him money for nothing, you know. He was enjoying himself, and, that, and that's, yeah, that's half, half the battle. If you're a musician, you know when something's good because people will carry on playing it. And if they put it down, you go, yeah, okay, we, we, we've messed up. It, really simple, isn't it? It's no, there's no rocket science to this. You know, Dan's, Dan's actually got the um, little beastie. Dan, can I grab that a second? Just, uh, this, this, is, this is the beastie that a load of people, it's got flat wounds on it at the moment because it's, it's that bass. It covers lots of different boundaries. The humbuckers, just volume, volume, tone, just feels beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we're having a bit of fun with that. And the finish, the price points, about 1,200 bucks. I'd love it to be less, but uh, again, you can't get a neck like that. If, it, you know, if it's sprayed and cheap, yes, it'll be a lot cheaper base. But that's hours of work, and uh, that, again, makes it a little bit special. So, uh, yeah, anything else you, anyone will ask, email Donald, he'll email us. I answer everything. This man will answer everything. Love to get you doing some more demos and uh, some work with your sound because, man, you're a great musician. Thank you. Thank you. And so, tell me, yeah. are these made in the U.S.? No, uh, these are actually made in Korea. Uh, Dan actually makes some U.S.-made ones, uh, but you're going to pay three and a half to four thousand dollars for his handmade ones and you know he's not gonna make many because he makes them himself in Chicago so Dan's Dan's gonna carry on doing his thing um, he doesn't want to be involved in anything where there's any numbers or quantities or marketing required so if you want to buy a D Lakin base they'll be called D Lakin bases these are Ashdown bases with D Lakin design on the back of the headstock so he's just involved in everything we're doing to make them that that little bit special and he, he is a perfectionist so these are made in Korea then set up in England gig bad in England then we ship them out once we're personally happy with them as well so they, they're, yeah they're not English made some people would try that on but no we're, we're going to tell the truth where they're made because the factory that make them deserve a, a lot of support because the quality is exceptional you know that's that's wonderful that you are so transparent with <laughs> you know the whole manufacturing and, and that's why people love your products you know thank you I mean it means a lot to us we've we've got nothing to hide in the world we do things properly um, we we want to have things that are approved legal because a lot of people bring an amp out and uh, they put an ice module in it and go, ice is approved, it's got FCC, it's got EMC, it's all legal. But unless they put it through a new approval and paid seven and a half thou, it's not approved. It needs to have its own approval because as soon as you move that ice module into another box, it's not approved because your box, your cables, your everything in there is an antenna. So, you know, if you're upsetting the, the electromagnetic compatibility and, you know, you're, you're playing near a hospital or radio waves, you know, you're causing problems for people. And, and it's serious business to get all this correct. So we, we, we do it all above board and we're happy to tell people where we make stuff. Um, got nothing to hide in the world. And we're very proud of our factories. So, um, where can we get these wonderful bases to purchase? Oh, at the moment, until, until about May, they'll only be able to come to us, and then we understand they'll be coming into America in May. So I'm pretty sure you'll see them in Sweetwater and GC. Um, I'm hoping some specialist base stores. But at the moment, you can get them from us direct in England for a while until uh, production gets going to a little bit better level and they turn up in America. But they're online in our store right now, and we'll ship them. They'll come from us direct in England uh, for a short period of time. Can we also purchase uh, the base amps at the store, uh, Ashton store? Actually, you can, but the, we're, the great thing is we are so supported globally that you'll pay more from me than you would from Sweetwater or GCMF, um, Toman, all these stores. I mean, we are, we are so rep thankfully, everyone, yeah, thank all you stores out there. We are so represented globally that we're, we're in most of the key stores globally. I mean, everywhere from Australia to New Zealand. Iceland, America, and, and, and Sweetwater and GC in particular are, are just doing a great job. So very, very supportive. So you can get everything cheaper from a store than you will from us. It is online. If someone's got this urge to buy from us direct, um, it's online. But you'll get the same support from us. And I think all the forums say how amazing my service guys are. And I personally see every service email. So it, if our guys don't follow up, I know about it, and, but they do. So, you know, um, never worry about support and service. We rarely charge for much ever, you know, and we give a five-year warranty anyway, but I don't think we charge for things that are 15 or 20 years old. And we're 25 years old in September. So it's, uh, you know, uh, that's 39 years I've made bass amps. Wow. 
you know, Trey Silliot for 14, Ashdown for 25. So um, it's, it's quite something. And we're still, and we're a family business. There's only nine of us, guys. There's nine people in the whole company. You know, and three of them are here, so it's a bit lame back at the office, but we don't miss much, you know, and if we do, just email me and complain. You can get me anytime you want. It's not a problem. Thank you so much, Mark. And thank you so much for joining us on DonaldWa.com. So much more to come. Check it out.